let's have a look at the group selection tool here inside of Illustrator and examine how powerful it can be when trying to select elements, especially within nested groups. So I have an artificial example here and in just a few moments, I'll show you a real world example. So a very simple example just here, we have five dots, that's it. So with my selection tool, I am going to select the first two, press Command or Control G to group those. And over here in my layers panel, you can see I've created our first group of two dots. Let's select the last three, Command or Control G to group those. Again, we have another group just over here. Let me select both of those groups and group those. So we now have a group of two groups and each of those groups contain a few dots themselves. So let's go and grab the direct selection tool. You've probably used this tool to select the anchor points on paths in the past. You can also use it to select individual elements, which is what I'm going to demonstrate just now. So let's click on this first dot. It does indeed select a single dot. You can see that in the layers panel as well. But if I click on it again, nothing else happens. It just continues to select that same single dot. Okay, so let's go and have a look at the group selection tool just here. So I'll click away so nothing's selected. And again, keep an eye on the layers panel as well to see what is getting selected. So let's click once on that first dot. Yes, that dot is selected. Click on it again. Now this just got interesting because the dot next to it was selected, and you can see over here in the layers panel, it's actually selected the group. If I click on this again, you'll see now that all of the elements are selected. So I'll show you this again. I'll just click on a blank part of the uh, canvas to deselect everything. So we click once, it gives us the element. Click again, it moves up one level in the hierarchy to select the overarching group. If we then click again, it does so again and reaches that one step higher again in the hierarchy and collects, excuse me, selects the group of everything. So that's kind of cool, but uh, let me show you a real world example just now. Uh, so this is um, some artwork I built for a client. And let me go and grab the direct selection tool and let's click on a tree. Okay, it selects the tree. I click again, nothing else happens, no big surprise there. But if I go and grab the group selection tool, and if I click on a tree, and if I click on that a second time, it selects all of the trees because all of those trees are grouped together. Okay, not uh, probably haven't sold you yet, but hopefully I will on this example just here. So before I start clicking, I'll explain how I've uh, put all this together. So within each of the uh, envelopes, you have a bunch of components. So there's the stamp, the address, the envelope itself. So all of those elements within here were grouped together. Um, that was done five times, and then those five envelopes were themselves grouped together. So if we grab the direct selection tool, if I say click on this stamp, it selects it, but if I click again, nothing else happens. So let's go and grab the group selection tool, click away to deselect everything. Let's click on the stamp. We've selected that, so we can move that around, which is cool if we're editing. If I click a second time, it gives me the group, so I could move the entire envelope around at this point. And if I click again, it will give me the group of all of those envelopes. So I am now able to move all of those around in a single shot. Click away to deselect, I'll show you that again quickly, just on say this envelope just down here. One click, I get the individual element. A second click, I get the group. And a third click, I get the group next the level up, which in this case is all of the envelopes. So that, guys, is the group selection tool, a fantastic method for choosing elements, especially those nested within groups.